Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial, and today is easily the coolest day working on the battleship for me. Uh, today is why I do this job. It's why I sit through a hundred staff meetings in a year, is to get the days like today. Uh, today, maintenance was cleaning out their office, and they found a box of keys and Two of the keys in that box that they found, I'll show you what these go to in a minute, but they're the uh, nuclear permission to fire keys for Battleship New Jersey. The Navy left them on board when the ship was decommissioned. So uh, we, we literally just found this an hour or two ago. Uh, so I don't have a lot of information about how these were used. We know that there's the Tomahawk launch consoles and there are two key slots there, and I'll show you how these fit there in a minute. We know that there's actually a duplicate set of these down below, and these keys themselves are stamped uh, with a number two on them, while the other ones are stamped number one. So there may even be more than that. Um, but at this time, I can't tell you who would have had them, where they would have been stored, any of that information. Uh, but we will do an update to this shortly. I just wanted to get this news out there because I'm so excited about it. Uh, so, off the top of my head, the first place I think that those keys might have been stored was right here in the Combat Engagement Center. There are two large safes. There's one down here in the corner. Uh, this would be the port side of the room. And if you open that up, you can see that there's another safe inside of that. But none of these shelves look like key slots, so it, it's not a smoking gun for me. Uh, maybe that other safe in there does have key slots in there, that's where it would be stored. But this seems like a really inconvenient place to go down there and get those. There is also this large safe here marked Ops number two. And this is actually not supposed to be here. It should be over here on the other side of the paper shredder. Uh, I believe this rack is probably what that came off of, and I suspect uh, the museum removed that to access some of this equipment at some point. And it just got stowed back here, and since it's behind the tour route, nobody ever bothered to put it back. But opening this up, you can see several shelves. Uh, you can see some drawers that are just empty drawers. They're, they're nothing uh, special in there. So again, no smoking gun that there's like a key hanger in there or, or a label on a shelf or anything like that. But this one at least is like full height accessible from right there. There's plenty of room to grab it and take it over to uh, whoever's at the launch, launch station. Uh, but we've never shown these safes before. I've gotten a number of questions about red safes that were on board the ship that carried like Tomahawk data packages or, or the keys to fire them. And I've never seen a red safe on the ship. Most of them are painted gray. These are painted black, which is the same color as the rest of the bulkhead in here. Yeah, you, you might see something red behind me here. Uh, that is an electric panel. It's got uh, breakers on it. That's not a safe or anything. But somebody gave me the nuclear permission to fire keys. Let's go look at where they go. So you can bet your butt the first thing we did when we found these keys was come up and test them. So first of all, they've each got a different tag on them. Uh, this one is nuclear PTF, permission to fire. And hey, it lines up perfectly with what's stenciled right here, nuclear perm to fire. The second one is labeled as tomahawk fire enable slash inhibit. Fire, enable, inhibit. Uh, and it's got inhibit at the top and enable on the side. So. That turns into the enable position, perfectly fine. I should say that we've tried these on all four consoles and the same key works on all of them. I do not know if each ship had their own key, if there was one key for the whole fleet. I have no idea how that works. Um, just that we have found two sets of each of these pairs of keys so far and they are cut the same. They seem to be interchangeable throughout. Uh, again, I don't know if the tactical action officer wore this on a chain around his neck like you see in Crimson Tide, or if the commanding officer in XO each had one, or what the deal is with that. With the nuclear permission to fire key, 
that goes in the slot and it does not turn and lock it is spring loaded so i'm not sure if once this is enabled you turn it and hold it there while you are pushing your button or just turning it to authorize while this is on uh, enabled does something I'm, I'm not sure yet just simply finding these keys and figuring out how these uh, key slots work is starting the archaeological process for us and we're going to uh, go from here and start talking to former sailors who we know stayed in this spot and hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll be able to come back with more research on how this was done on IO class battleships so far as I know we're the only Iowa class battleship to find ours. Um, I am not aware of any on the other ships, but I haven't reached out to all of my counterparts who are curators of them yet to ask what they have and what they know about it. Uh, so we'll cover that in a future episode as well. The one thing I do know is that the Navy will neither confirm nor deny that Iowa class battleships carried nuclear missiles. They were definitely nuclear capable but we do not yet have any indication that they were actually carried, just that they could. Uh, the fact that they were carried probably means that they did training exercises, whether they had the real thing or not. Um, and the fact that we have the keys is not a smoking gun to me that they did carry these missiles. Uh, because just the simple fact that we're capable means that we would have had these in the safe for just in case uh, we ended up loading one. Whether we carried nuclear weapons or not, the sheer fact that we were nuclear capable uh, led people to believe that we were. So you get movies like the documentary Under Siege about Tommy Lee Jones and Gary Busey stealing Steven Seagal's nuclear weapons off Missouri. That comes out in, what, 92, 93, something like that. Um, so at that time period, right after the Iowas are decommissioned, there, there is this thought in the public consciousness that they carried nuclear weapons. Also... The battleship is protested when she goes into foreign ports. Like, check out this footage of protesters in Sydney, Australia, uh, protesting Battleship New Jersey being there for their bicentennial celebrations. They were protesting the fact that we were nuclear armed. Uh, and again, the Navy doesn't confirm that we were, just that we could be. It's also worth pointing out that I've got these keys in here. I cannot actually fire anything. So this display is a mock-up. This console was completely gutted. Uh, the connections between this console and the missiles completely cut up and demilitarized when the ship was turned over to the museum. The launchers themselves are welded shut. There are no missiles in them, so we can't elevate them to fire a missile. The uh, Tomahawk equipment room where all of the uh, computers for doing this the guidance packages and things like that is empty, completely gutted. There's nothing in there. Since the strategic arms limitation treaties in the early 90s, the United States has not placed nuclear weapons on surface ships. While our submarines still remain part of our nuclear deterrent system, surface ships do not carry them. So this sort of weapon system uh, does not exist on modern U.S. Navy surface ships. So there are a hundred different reasons why turning this key will not set off a nuclear blast. In addition to these keys, we've also found uh, approximately 20 pounds of other uh, shipboard era keys. I, they're not museum era, they, they are from when the ship was in service. Uh, and they come in several boxes and it seems like they're keys for both the engineering department and the weapons department. Uh, we haven't had a chance to go through all of them yet. We found these and got really excited and decided to shoot a video. So what are some other keys that you think we might have? Let us know in the comment section down below. What are some things on the ship you think would be locked? Or what were some things on your ship that were accessible by keys? Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State because we threaten them with nuclear weapons. And also from supporters like you. We really appreciate your support, or else. Uh, and in addition to supporting us monetarily, you can support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so we don't blow up your hometown. Thanks for watching.